What's up everyone? Before I get into the video, I just wanted to really quickly announce that my online programs have finally launched and are now available on my website builtwithscience.com, which I'll link in the description box down below. Long story short, if you love my science-based YouTube videos and articles, then I'm confident that you're going to love my programs. And for reasons I'll discuss at the end of this video, these programs will only be available for one week starting today, and signups will close by the end of the 30th and won't reopen again until a few weeks later. So if you're interested, make sure you listen to what I have to say at the end of this video. Anyways, on to today's video. So a little while ago, I posted on my Instagram asking for YouTube topics to cover and by far the most requested topic was for me to talk about my current routine. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll cover what my training, diet and cardio currently looks like and why and I'll provide you with some recommendations on how you can implement what I do into your routine. Now just for your reference, I'm pretty much at the end of my 12 week cut, so my routine right now is still geared towards fat loss, but as you'll see, a lot of the same concepts apply to gaining weight and building muscle as well. So let's start with training. My current training split is as follows. I'm running a five day per week protocol consisting of a push, pull, legs, and upper lower workout. So the following muscle groups are trained within each workout and are heavily based on a lot of the science-based exercises that I show on my channel. I do change the split up periodically, but at the moment, this is what it is. Now I currently use this split for three main reasons. One, each muscle is trained at a two times per week training frequency. We know based on this 2018 meta-analysis on the topic, this seems to be optimal and superior to training each muscle just one time per week to maximize growth. So by using the split, you can see how every muscle group is hit at this two times per week training frequency. Two, training five days a week helps keep my workouts from being too long. As discussed in my video with researcher Brad Schoenfeld, to progress optimally, you will need to gradually increase volume over time as you gain more training experience. And since I have a fair amount of training experience and do need a decent amount of volume to see continued growth, it's a lot more realistic for me to split that across five training days as opposed to just three, for example. And three, it enables me to focus on other important aspects of my training. Since my workouts aren't excessively long and I'm not training every day of the week, I'm able to dedicate more time to both my abs routine and my mobility and prehab exercises which are each done a couple times a week and these prehab exercises are mainly used to strengthen my rotator cuffs lower traps and a few other muscles that tend to become underdeveloped over time a lot of people neglect these other aspects of training but trust me guys it's these little things and exercises that's really what's helped me stay injury free throughout my years of training now i don't want you to automatically assume that this is the optimal split and that you should change yours based on what i'm currently doing because you shouldn't when it comes to the best workout split and how often to train which i will be making a future video on it depends on several factors but long story short, study after study shows that it's total weekly volume that's most important. Therefore, how many days a week you choose to split up that training volume ultimately depends on your training experience, personal preference, and a few other factors that I will cover in another video. So for my nutrition, what I usually do is I just stick to somewhat similar meals every day which are more or less variations of the meals shown in my diet for fat loss video, which just makes everything simple and easy to stay consistent with. And given that I'm currently eating at a calorie deficit and focus more so on fat loss, I also utilize intermittent fasting four to five times a week. Since I personally enjoy eating three to four larger meals as opposed to five to six smaller meals throughout the day. So on a typical day of fasting, my day would look something like the following. Black coffee, green tea, and or sparkling water in the morning, then my first big meal at noon, followed by a workout, followed by another big meal after my workout, and then another one to two meals before 8 p.m. Now in terms of how many calories I eat at and the macros I eat at, those of you who follow me on Instagram probably already know that I've been relying on and using my own built with science nutrition software that I had developed, which just provides you with calorie and macronutrient recommendations based on your personal data and your goal. And these recommendations then actually adjust over time based on how your weight is changing to provide you with a very accurate value of how much you actually need to eat at to consistently hit your weight gain or weight loss goal. So as you can see, my maintenance or TDEE calories right now is right around 2,800 calories, which means I have to eat at roughly 2,300 calories to lose around a pound a week, which is more or less my goal at the moment. 
Now this software is only available in the programs that launched today, but a really easy way to get a rough estimate of what you have to eat at is to one, use a recommendation of researcher Lyle McDonald and simply multiply your body weight in pounds by 15. This gives you a rough estimate of your maintenance calories which you can then increase or decrease depending on if you want to gain weight or lose weight. And then two, using the recommendations of the most recent protein meta-analysis, you want to intake roughly one gram per pound of protein when dieting and around 0.8 grams per pound of protein if you're trying to add size. And finally, three, simply fill the rest of your calories with carbs and fat. And then throughout the weeks, track your weight and increase or decrease your calories based on if your weight is progressing at the appropriate rate, which is exactly what I personally used to do before I had my nutrition software developed. As for my cardio routine right now, my main goal is just to use it to speed up the fat loss process, especially since for the last little while I've been sedentary since I've just been focusing on creating my programs. I personally find that using the Stairmaster is the easiest form of moderate intensity cardio for me to burn the most calories in the shortest period of time, so I mainly stick with that. For example, right now I'll do four to five sessions per week ranging from 15 to 30 minutes depending on whether I worked out or not. And other than that, I'll also do one hit cycling session per week on a rest day and just try to get in some walking whenever possible. But as I've said before, cardio is just a tool I use to help me burn more calories. So stick to what you enjoy and what you'll be most consistent with. And if you're confused at all as how to approach your cardio routine to lose fat, I'd highly suggest watching my recent cardio video which should clear everything up for you. That's pretty much it guys. I hope you were able to take away something useful from this video. Let me know if you have any specific questions about what I do in the comments below and I'll do my best to reply to them. Now as mentioned in the beginning of my video, after 10 tireless months of testing, tweaking and perfecting, my online programs are now live and I'm really excited about them. So just a quick rundown, there's four programs in total, the beginner build and beginner shred programs and the intermediate build and intermediate shred programs. And as you guys probably expected, each are heavily backed by science with over 95 scientific references in each of them. And they're all designed to take you from your starting point to the end goal of achieving a lean, powerful looking physique through proven evidence-based methods. Just so you know and can trust that you're maximizing your efforts in the gym and with your diet. So to determine which one is right for you, you can simply take the quiz on my homepage, builtwithscience.com, which will guide you in the right direction. Now the main program itself is run on something called Teachable, where there will be sections on training, nutrition, mind to muscle connection, additional routines like abs, prehab and mobility, in-depth video tutorials, as well as downloadable mobile friendly PDFs of your main routines. Basically everything you need to ensure that you progress as quickly and as safely as possible. You'll also get the nutrition software that I mentioned in this video as well. Now, as I said earlier, these programs are only going to be open for one week. I'm going to temporarily close them by the end of the 30th and then reopen them a few weeks later. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to personally help and guide the first group that comes through to ensure they fully understand everything and to help them throughout the weeks. So if you're interested, just make sure you get in on the first round before it closes. Thank you so much in advance, everyone. I can't wait for you guys to see what's included. But that's it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to support me by giving it a like, leaving a comment down below, and subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.